welcome back to channel guys welcome back to the another video and in today's video i'm gonna cover a couple of topics actually and in this video i'm gonna talk about few different things that are going on with the ios 26 and also with the ios 18.6.1 also i'm gonna address some of your comments you guys have some of comments some of the same comments i'm gonna talk about those things um let's start with this video with the ios 26 beta 7 the next update is going to be iOS 26 beta 7 and it is coming next week along with the public beta 4. Now in this video I'm going to talk about the release date. So first of all let's talk about the release date. Um, my expected release date for the iOS 26 developer beta 7 is the 18th of August. I'm expecting the update over here and in the same week we are also expecting the public beta 4. Now, if we talk about what new features we are going to get with the iOS 26 public, uh, developer beta 7 is that we are expecting liquid glass UI element in to more areas of iOS. And this time we are expecting this with the standby mode. We all know about the standby mode and this time we are expecting that the iOS 26 uh, beta 7 will bring a lot of new stuff to the standby mode. Now I'm going to show show you the standby mode for now. Okay, so as you can see, this is the standby mode. The elements are not in the liquid glass. If I like, it's been a long while I haven't used the standby mode. Being very honest with you guys, like if I am like I don't know how to you know switch it. Okay, so this you can see this watch is not in the liquid glass element over here. It's like plain text. It's not liquid glass as you can see and iOS 26 beta 7 is hopefully going to get the liquid glass over here with this as you can see. So that is what we are expecting with the iOS 26 developer beta 7 which is going to be really really nice especially for the people who you know use the liquid glass or I mean like use the standby mode regularly. I don't use that regularly because it's not a big deal for me. Okay, so coming back to the video. So that is all about the iOS 26 beta 7 for now. If I got any other leak, I will definitely do a video about it. So far, iOS 26 beta 6 is going really good. It's really smooth. I'm really enjoying the performance and everything seems really, really nice. Now I want to talk about iOS 18.6.1 for a bit because that is another update that was out. And people are not happy. Now there's one common question and that is I updated to 18.6.1 or 18.6 or even iOS 26 um, some beta and my battery health drop. Now this is one of the most common questions I'm getting these days and I'm getting this from so many people. Now, there is an important thing to understand that whenever you update to any iOS version no matter what it refreshes everything. So maybe your battery was already at some point maybe it was already on 79 or maybe 95 or 94 and it was not showing over here when you update the device it refreshes and now it's a new number over here and you are feeling that it is maybe because of updating but it is not because of updating it is because you have used your device significantly apple claims around like um 50 um charge cycle for one to two percent Today I got a comment, he got like 195 charge cycles and 1% drop after updating. 195 charge cycles and 1% drop is insanely really good. And if it is happening to you, you should be happy. Like it took a very long time to, you know, drop 1%. It's not bad. It's not something, you know, weird happened. It is completely normal. Also, these are the lithium ion batteries they are like they can drop naturally apple cannot control them with any update or anything like that they will drop naturally whenever they want to you know it's a tech tech can be good one day it can be bad another day it can be you know we can see any issue anytime in any tech product any no one can guarantee that for example this is a tech product and it will run perfectly for 50 years or 20 years or even five years no one can guarantee that tech products are like there's no you know, this kind of a guarantee they can be you know get damaged or anything can happen to this so this is important thing to understand also 
for me 18.6.1 is going really good i tested out i ran the you know i was using this device mainly you, as you can see yesterday i used around 100 percent of my device and i got 5 hours and 50 minutes screen on time which is really 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 good today i used around 65 to 70 percent and i got 5 hours and 26 minutes screen on time which is also really good so screens on time are really good battery life is really good and I'm really enjoying the overall performance of 18.6.1. I have no issue with that. Again, if you are saying the battery life is decreasing, that is completely normal. So yeah, that's all from this video. I just want to cover a couple of things. Um, for me, it seems 18.6.1 did fix a battery draining. And you know, I did a video about that. Go to my channel and check out that video. And so far things seems too nice. Well, that's all from this video. I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.